there everybody welcome back to my youtube channel i hope you guys are doing great i hope you guys are having a good uh, friday so far i hope your week has been amazing and full of blessings mine has been great and uh if you just came across this channel my name is yvonne my content is about home decor home styling interior design all that good stuff and i'll be so happy to have you join my family so please consider hitting that subscribe button and uh, don't forget to the notification bell so that you can be notified every other time that I upload um yeah so today i want to share with you something small uh but still something that i think would be important uh if you're planning on decorating up your space uh yeah so let's get comfortable i think it will be around 10 minutes uh so yeah i think again it's such a cold time we're in right now so if you have a cup of coffee if you have a cup of tea or some hot water you can just grab that and uh let's get started <music> So today's video i want to share with you 10 tips that i think could be helpful to someone uh, who is on a budget and still they want to you know style up their space i've been there done that uh, and also i'm currently doing it because uh, my space it's not something that i've been able to do at once i always like um i always like have a process when it comes to styling up styling up my uh, my space and uh, that's what i want to share with you so i think the first tip that would be important is I have my book uh, right here because I've written down uh, the most important points that I think would be great. So the first tip I would share is do the one room challenge. What that means is you want to pick one room in your space that uh, you can start with. And my advice would be pick a space that you know is not going to take much of your time and at the same time a space that is not going to take much of your money. So for me, I think that would be the kitchen space because, you know, with kitchen doesn't require much of you know trying to figure out design styles it's more of organization so i would still i would say start with the kitchen space it also requires less money compared to other spaces and uh what this uh does or when you do the one room challenge it helps you to organize your savings or your budget on one room and then when you're done with that room you move to the next when you're done with the next room you move to the next so yeah the thing with like trying to style everything at once you you find that you're trying to squeeze that budget to fit all the rooms and then you might end up buying things that are not good quality or you might end up buying things that are just not good for the space so yeah that's my first tip my second tip uh would be when when uh still talking about the budget would be be patient with your savings be patient with uh, your budget so if you're trying to save up for space just try and be patient with it don't trash and um also i'm not into bulk buying i also wouldn't advise on bulk buying maybe if you have the money to invest in the space then you can go and bulk buy what i mean by bulk buying is like buying everything at once and just like finishing up that project in a week uh but for me i would advise uh, if you're if you're on a budget right because i'm talking out to people with who are on a budget i would say be patient with your savings don't rush into it and uh yeah so another thing with bulk buying is that you might find uh you walked in a store and you just want to buy everything at once so you go and find things and uh, you bring them home and then the next day you go to the store you find something that is even much better than what you picked so i wouldn't advise on bulk buying even if you have the money just take take time and uh, go through different shops and see what they have to offer and uh, that brings me now to the third point which would be window shop first or uh, shop i end for you know inspiration so walk in shops see what they have to offer you know we have physical shops we have online shops so i would say go through all these shops and see what they have to offer compare prices and also compare quality and see where you where you get you're able to get value for your money and that again is going to help you now come up with a budget and uh it also help you to know how much money you need to save up so yeah then my first tip would be to create a mood board of which i actually feel this should have been the first tip before even going into shopping but you guys get it now you need to have a mood board before even going to you know window shop or before even coming up with a budget and all that you need to create your mood board first what this does it help it helps you stop uh, a lot of impulse buying and you're able to go shop now with uh, your mood board or your design style in mind so um also i found myself uh before before i also knew like this whole design style thing i would find myself work uh, in shops and i would see something beautiful and i always felt the need to purchase it 
but now with um, me having a mood board i'm able to work in a shop i don't know like uh, if i need uh let me say a duvet cover i need it to be in white so if i go and see sir, a duvet cover that is green and it's beautiful and i'm so tempted to get it i'm not gonna get it because i know i need white so mood board is going to ground you in a way that you stop a lot of impulse buying and making wrong choices with your purchases so mood board is very important my fifth tip would be and i think uh, this also works um in the mood board situation and it's why you have to identify your design style and uh what this does again it's the same thing with mood board you are able to shop for things that fit your design style and things that uh you know they're going to build up the space the way you want it to be so i think identify your design style and then now create the mood board with that design style in mind and then go shop with that design style in mind so yeah also one thing i think i should add on that part of creating mood board and identifying your style is that it helps save a lot of time a lot of your time and money at the same time because you see that money part it's you're not going to spend money on things that don't fit your design style also when it comes to time uh, when you go to shop you have your design style in mind you have your mood board maybe on your phone so you already know what you're going to purchase and it's going to take you less time so yeah my next point would be take advantage of the sales now here in kenya we always have uh, two main sales for home decor goods that is media sales and end of year sales right now we have sales going on at style and carpet at uh, odds and hands uh, i think also okadeco as a sale if i'm not wrong they host, they had a sale where they had like 20 percent off coming me i'm not sure but uh yeah so media sales they happen around june july august and then we have end of year sales that happen up for november december so i would say take advantage of those sales because you get to save a lot of money even though it's 20 percent off or 50 percent off or 30 percent off even just 10 percent off can go a long way so yeah also on that part of uh taking advantage of sales now if you're trying to save up for your space i would say save up before the sale uh just save towards that sale uh, so that when that sale comes you have like money already set aside for own decor goods and then you're going to save yourself some money so yeah my next uh point would be thrifting if you are on a budget i do think you can find very nice and unique pieces when you go thrifting i've uh in my space i've combined uh both um you know i don't say they're not expensive they're just like new things let me say new things i've combined new things with thrifted pieces so mostly you find my throw blankets they're thrifted i also go and uh, get a few pillow covers if i find new uh, pillow covers from maybe think toys or kekomba or toy market i would get those so i would say mix up the new items with thrifted pieces and uh, maybe you can have one big that you have spent one big piece that you have spent your money on and then you can try and style around that one big piece with a few thrifted pieces so yeah my next tip would be diy if you can so if you walk in a shop and uh, you find something is you know too expensive for you and you feel like you can diy or build that thing yourself then i think go for it uh, i think again it's a fun thing to do to diy it's i think it's a bit therapeutic for some people but for me I don't think i can build anything maybe it's because i haven't tried but i don't think i can do it i just want to go buy something and come home but if you have it in you to actually like create something for yourself i think it's another way of uh saving your money so yeah then my next tip would be make deposits on things that you love so if you work in a shop and you love something but you don't have the full cash on you i think you can make a deposit if they allow that some shops here do allow you to make deposits on things so you can make a deposit on something and then come later on and um pay the rest of the money so i think that's another way to you know do this thing on a budget so if you find something and you really need it i think you can just drop a deposit take some time look for the money and then go and finish the rest of the money so yeah then my last point would be and i think this is what works for me uh because when it comes to home styling or to interior design it's a passion for me uh, the, a passion that i'm trying to work on and hopefully i can grow a career out of it or a business out of it so you find that uh, i spend more when it comes to home decor items and then i budget uh in in other areas of my life so 
maybe to things like beauty products, air products, clothes, I spend less and then I spend more now when it comes to home decor items because it's more of a priority for me. So it might be different for you, so you just spend on what is more of a priority for you. But then again, uh, you find yourself in a situation where you walk in a shop and you find something so, so beautiful and you really need it and you think it would be perfect for your space. So I think you just get it, but then you try and cut short now on other areas of your life. Maybe it's that uh, makeup you wanted to buy, maybe it's those clothes you wanted to buy. You just like cut short on that and then spend more on that product. So yeah, that's how I go about it. And um, I think that's it. So that's it for today. I do hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And uh, if you want to make over your space or you want to do some styling projects in your space and maybe you don't have the time, I'll be so happy to help you out. Kindly DM me um, on Instagram or you can reach me out on my email. I have it um, linked uh, in the description box below. Whatever works for you, I'll be happy to help and I can share my rates with you and then we can start from there. So yeah, and I think that's it for today. So give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.